Hi, I'm Healing Means. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Way Back Wednesdays Part 2. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for part two of Way Back Wednesdays. This Way Back Wednesdays video features Allocate Naturals products. You all voted on combo number one. In part one, we started off with a moisturizing black soap shampoo. And then we followed up with the avocado cream moisture repairing mask. Now, I just rinsed this out. And I will tell y'all green 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 y'all i put my head underneath the water in my sink and i rinsed it out and i just saw green i don't know why i thought i would not see green because there is obviously added color it says color additives i'm guessing green so why i thought the color was not gonna run out y'all i don't know i don't know what i was thinking but i saw that green and it just kind of <laughs> I clutched my pearls under the running water for a second, but I just kept rinsing and rinsing and rinsing. The green got lighter and lighter and lighter. And I think, I'm pretty sure I got at least 98% of this hair mask out of my hair. We ready to go on with step three of my wash day, which is the moisturizer slash leave-in. Before we do that, y'all take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Click that notifications bell. Make sure it's set to all. Like comment and share with everyone you know. And now let's continue with this Way Back Wednesdays video. Step three of my wash day is the moisturizer slash leave-in. And I have the Allocate Naturals Dolce Hydrating Curl Lotion. Let's see how this smells. It smells kind of sweet, almost like candy. It's giving me a kind of like niche beauty, that candy, kind of candy vibes. It is... It's moderately thick. I'm hoping I'm not going to have an issue pumping this through this pump top. But let's see. Okay. All right. It's a, it's a little bit thinner than what it looks. So this is what I'm going to be using for my leaving. But y'all, you know what I should do? What I should do is a quick test with the styler. If it's some technical difficulties, for this particular wash day, I'm going to have to skip the leave-in and then just go with the styler to see how that works out. And y'all, I'm going to be using these products many, many more times. So you will see them in all different kind of combinations. I have about this much left on my hand. And I'll just go ahead and introduce the styler. This is the Allocate Naturals Creme Brulee Curling Delight. And y'all, you see this yellow? I also mentioned this in part one of this video that this has yellow number five. And I was thinking, y'all, if it was green like that in my hair with the deep conditioner and I rinsed it out and all of that green came out, do y'all think I'm going to have yellow in my hair? And I'm not so concerned with the color being in the product, but what I am concerned with, especially since this product is staying in my hair, is this going to rub off on my clothes or just, you know, my car seat or whatever? Am I going to have yellow number five wearing it like Chanel number five? Again, protective seal. Thank you very much. Let me take that off. And this little bit that's in the top. Let's mix this together. I don't know, y'all. What's, what's the verdict? Y'all, uh-uh. I don't, I don't, mmm, fool. I don't know. Isn't this supposed to be smooth though when you do the mix test? So this is how it looks. Let me just slide this back on here, y'all. We're going to read the directions and kind of see what it says because I don't know, y'all. I'm not feeling too confident. For the Dolce, which I'm using for my leave-in, the directions say use on wet or dry hair, section hair into four to six sections, generously spray on lemongrass leave-in conditioner 
Starting from the back, take a small amount and apply to hair row by row by raking the product through hair from root to tip. After thoroughly applying product, shake hair to remove excess. Air dry or dry with a diffuser for a firmer hold. Apply the creme brulee curling delight. All right, so this is not the lemongrass leave-in. Apparently, I can add the creme brulee to the lemongrass leave-in. And then it says, this product is intended to define and enhance your natural curl pattern. This product will not change your natural curl pattern. Y'all know these products from back in the day. <laughs> Y'all know these from back in the day, though. But shout out for Allocate, just stating the obvious, though. Stating the obvious. Thank you, Allocate. This label is not right for this product. For the creme brulee, let's see what this says. The directions say apply to washed wet hair, section in four to six sections. Take a small amount of creme brulee and apply to hair row by row by raking the product through hair from root to tip. Start by applying product to sections in the back. Then move to the front sections. After applying product to entire head, shake hair to remove excess water and product. After, generously spray lemongrass leave-in conditioner throughout hair. Air dry or diffuse. Results may vary. <laughs> Allocate like, hold up. I'm about to tell y'all right now. Just what you see on YouTube and Instagram, that might not be what you see on your head. Shout out, Allocate. So the same yellow number five that's in this creme brulee is probably what's in the whole lemongrass line. I think we're gonna have to put this on the side though, y'all. I don't trust it. I don't I don't trust this Dolce mixed with this creme brulee, y'all. I don't know, y'all. Just look, see. I don't know. I y'all what I can do is I mean we could switch it up, y'all. We could switch it up. Let me go get the um, the lemongrass leave it. All right, y'all, so we got the lemongrass leave-in, a uh, plastic protective. Hold on, let's, let's try to get this off. This does have the same yellow number five. Let's read the directions. This says, one of your favorite Allocate Naturals products has a new look, but is the same great formula on the inside. After washing hair, spray on damp hair, saturate each strand from root to tip style as usual. Also can be used as a daily moisturizing spray by applying to dry hair and styling as usual. It's not really telling me what to follow up with, but the creme brulee does say I could use this. So this is what we gonna do, y'all. We gonna, we gonna try this out. Nah, I'm scared. Y'all, I'm so glad I did that little mix test though because I'd have been burnt up. Y'all, but look at it though. Just so it's not me, right? Just... Y'all see that? that uh uh. I don't, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right, y'all. So, what I'm going to do is just do, and let's see, get that initial spray. Okay, so it has a little thickness to it. It's not like drip, drip watery. But I'm going to do an initial spray. The 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 pumps are short though. Okay, uh-uh. This this is gonna take me all day, y'all. This this will be about to do. Cause I'm already working against time to try to get this video uploaded on Wednesday, on today. So what I'm gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, let me just pour a little in my hand. That's the fragrance. Oops, the fragrance. I don't know what the fragrance is. It, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's not a bad smell at all. I just, I don't, I, I want to say fresh. I want to say lemony. I'm, I'm trying to see if it really smells like lemongrass, either a natural or synthetic scent. I'm kind of just on it, but it's not a bad smell. It's not a bad smell, y'all. I don't want to put too much of this stuff on. And I do not trust, I'm not going to lie to you, I do not trust putting on like a good shirt before this stuff dry. Because the lemongrass leaving and the creme brulee have that yellow number five. And just my experience with the color additives from that deep conditioner, y'all, that green, the way that green, 
was running down the sink like I had dyed my hair or something. Mm-mm. Barely used anything. I barely used anything at all. Um, because I just don't want to have yellow dripping all down my neck. I'm going to do twists because that's faster. I'm going to have two rows in the back. And then I have my small side and my large side up here that I'm going to part and twist. If I forgot to mention or if I edited it out, when I rinsed out the deep conditioner and I got all the green out, y'all, my hair did feel soft. And it does. It, it feels soft. This lemongrass leave-in also has my hair feeling soft, even with just a little bit I applied. And so far, I haven't sprayed any additional water in my hair or anything. I just put that little bit of leave-in, just worked that through, combed it through, and now let's see what we can do with y'all. Uh -uh. Why, why is this slipping away from my fingers? All right, y'all see that? Okay, oh, uh -uh. <laughs> y'all know I'm about to pick it up hold up this did not appear to dye my rug yellow like that deep conditioner dyed my rug green my hair feels light though y'all let me put a little bit of the leave-in and again I have to pour it y'all because trying to spray that just it seemed like too much trouble I'm gonna put that's too much Ah, I just made a mess. So this much, y'all. You just put it in, in the pot that I spilled. That I spilled on the, the counter. That too. This just a little bit. Probably barely a nickel's worth. But y'all know. Waste not, want not. I just feel like I need to put a little bit more. Because this is uh, very light. The lemongrass leave-in. It feels very light on my hair which is not a problem at all but i just want to make sure that i have enough leave-in or that i have some leave-in i feel like i need some kind of protection on my strands y'all some protection from the creme brulee y'all I... hey y'all look first impressions first impressions y'all know i'm checking for yellow on my on my neck I'm using this amount. I'm just guessing, y'all. Squeeze that. Kind of mush that in my hands a little bit and apply. Now, for the creme brulee, I don't know what kind of hold this gives. We are going to find out. I didn't do any research or watch any videos on the products because I did not want to... Just, I didn't want to have any kind of influence on my initial, um, my initial impressions for the product. So, look at that. That's pretty. Yep, that's pretty. All right, I'm going to twist this up. But the, the pro, it does, it feels... It feels light. It feels like I should put more uh, more product on y'all, but I'm not. Not for this twist. Let's, I'm going to see maybe the, the other one I will, but for this one I'm not. And I'm just twisting and I'm reminding myself on both sides of my head. I usually only pay attention in the front with this is to twist away from my face. Try to remember to do that on both sides. Because normally you would twist um, away from your face on one side of your head and towards your face on the other side. We're not going to go all the way down because it's too thin. Here is, here is the first twist. I'm wondering if I should grab some perm rods for the ends, but... We gonna we gonna see, cause you can see see how it's, it's untwisting in the middle, in the middle of the twist. But we gonna we gonna try to roll with it. It feels very light, and it feels it's just absorbing into my hair. It feels just like the um the deep conditioner, the the avocado hair mask. It feels just like that. It's absorbing. 
directly into my hair, but so quick that it makes me feel like I need to add more product, but I'm not. Because what I don't want to happen is that I end up with a whole bunch of product on my hair and then have some kind of residue or end up with flakes or snow or whatever. I don't want to do that. So let me twist this one. And I thought about doing the little fast forward thing because I know some people like to see that. Yeah, y'all, let me see. Let me just try to try to do that. That took so long just to do the back. That was just seven twists. And it took me forever. Thank goodness for the speed up because y'all would have been asleep. Now let's go with the front. I'm going to do the small side on camera. And I'm going to do the rest of it off camera, y'all. I tried with the pump, but the, the is just is too short. But I got to be careful about how much I actually pour out of here. Because I don't want to pour too much. Probably this is like a, a thin quarter amount. That I'm putting on this whole section. I might part it. Because I'm going to do. I was thinking about doing three twists. So one at the bottom. And two at the top. Yeah that's probably how I'm going to do it. I'll put a little bit more leave in. I can spray a little bit more leave in. I don't want to put too too much. And I definitely don't want to put too much of the creme brulee because I don't know if this is um, a hard hold or a light hold. Like, I don't know because products can be deceiving. You can think because it's a light product, you're going to get a light hold or no hold and then you end up with helmet head. this and stuff because I know sometimes people like to see the parts. Sometimes people like to see the twist. I tilt my head back so y'all can see. I don't know like the top of my head. I don't know. Different people like to see different angles or different parts or sides of the head for you know whatever way. I did take some of the creme brulee just to do a little something with the edges. We're going to see if it holds. I know that this is not an edge Control is a styler, so I'm not really expecting it to, 
I don't know what I'm expecting it to do, but I just used it because it was left over on my hands and y'all know ways not want not. Just a quick recap for today's Way Back Wednesday's video. It featured the Allocate Naturals products. Y'all know I got to go with the disclaimer if it's not discontinued because everything from Way Back Wednesday's, y'all, is like at least a 50 to 75% chance that it's probably already discontinued. I started off with the Moisturizing Black Soap Shampoo. This product I like. Definitely want to use it in the shower because it's very watery. And when I rinsed it out, I did get that squeaky clean kind of coaty film thing. It's just the characteristic of black soap. But I don't feel like it negatively affected the rest of the wash day at all. That's just what black soap does. It cleansed my hair. It felt refreshed. I like it being liquid. I like this nozzle top. This is a product that I would repurchase. I followed up with the avocado cream moisture repairing hair mask. Y'all, this, no. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. My hair felt okay from what I remember, y'all. And I, it just was like a couple hours ago, right? But I think it, it felt okay. It's a very thin product. It absorbs like right away, which made me feel like I had to use more product than I probably had to. My hair did feel moisturized when I rinsed it out. I didn't get under the dryer, but I did let it sit in my hair for probably about 45 minutes altogether between applying to the first strand and rinsing it out. It probably was about 45 minutes. But the green, y'all, the green. And when I rinsed out my hair and just green, I mean, as green as this is, that's how the water was when I first rinsed this out. That kind of scared me a little bit. The extra color, coloring, I just, color additives, I just, I don't think this product needed that at all. I would not repurchase this product. Then my original intention was to follow up with the Dolce Hydrating Curl Lotion because this was the combo. I put them together. So granted, I did. I put them together and I put together this leave-in with the, the styler. But then I did that test, y'all. And thank goodness I did the test. And this is what it looks like when you combine the Dolce hydrating curl lotion with the styler and this just uh uh y'all nope the styler is the creme brulee curling delight this yellow it does have yellow number five which i'm also not a fan of and i would not put on decent clothes to go out or whatever until my hair was dry because i just think about the yellow running off on my clothes or off whatever my hair touches while it's still wet just like the green that rinsed out my hair with the deep conditioner so again the extra coloring this has yellow number five in it I, you know i don't think the coloring is necessary this is like a little jiggling kind of jelly consistency it's a very light product it's very similar to the deep conditioner it's very light it applies easily it absorbs instantly and completely again it makes you feel like you need to use more product than maybe you have to i'm gonna find out this is my first time using this product i don't know how it dries i don't know the hold i don't have any experience with that but we're gonna find out uh and i will let you know about that the creme brulee um i'm not sure if i will repurchase but just because i don't know yet all indications are a yes but leave out the yellow number five Leave-in that I ended up using after reading the directions on the creme brulee was the lemongrass leave-in conditioner. This is like the famous Allocate Naturals leave-in. Everybody knows it and they love it and all that kind of stuff. Again, yellow number five. To me, not necessary. It is in a spray bottle, but the, the pump is short. So I had to do many sprays just to get out the amount that I needed. And I ended up just taking this whole top off and just pouring it in my hand. It is a thinner product, but it does have a bit of consistency to it. It's not watery thin. It applied well. I didn't have any issues with it. It's light. I like that. And we'll see. This is another product I'm not sure if I'll repurchase. I just have to wait for the final results. And again, here are the twist. Just one little look right here for the twist. I always feel like I have to crunch down a little bit when I 
move the chair out the way because of the way I have the camera positioned and I don't feel like moving it around. Anyway, y'all, once my hair dries, I'll think about doing a quick takedown um, results and review or just, you know, something like that so you can see how my hair looks after it dries. I like the way it looks right now. I like the way it feels. I want to get under the hair dryer, but this could be a completely air dry. But you know what? I'm thinking about it. I feel like I have to get under the hair dryer because I don't want yellow number five on my pillow. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, click that notifications bell, like, comment, and share with everyone you know. And until next time, be safe, be well, and be blessed.